Hello everyone, Ed here with Tech Motorsports. Here we have an E36 M3 uh, coupe. So um, I am doing this video on the C pillar removal. Now um, I have to get to a certain part of the kick panel on the back, so I had to remove the C pillars. And uh, I know these things are a pain in the butt because I do end up removing the E46 M3 ones a lot. And the E36 being as old as it is, they're brittle. So pretty much 9% of the time, they'll break but uh so i'm gonna go ahead and take you to the steps uh what to look for and the little little tips to be able to get them out and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed that you don't break any of them and you can reuse the ones you pulled out so uh, let's get straight to it all right so let's start with the panel here so i already got one removed and now uh it made it a little bit easier because this one has been replaced previous i wouldn't say previously it has been replaced not too long ago because it is not brittle it looks in really good condition so with the age of the car i'm pretty sure that uh, it's been replaced at one point so what we got is uh quickly we have three tabs so this one is the driver's side so here is where the light goes this goes towards the uh, speaker panel and this goes towards the sunroof area so if you start from the top of sunroof area the um oh the <laughs> the headliner geez can't even spit it out so if you look on there, you have a, a plastic tab here, a plastic tab here, and a plastic tab here. These three tabs will hold a metal clip in place, which they are on the chassis themselves. This metal tab down here, which is on the lower section here, this is where the, the window guide thing is at. Uh, it sits in there, but this tab just sits in there. There's no clip on that one. So you only have three to worry about. So these are the ones that uh, these, plastic ones will break if you don't pull it correctly um these what you need to end up doing is when you pull on them you need to pull them on pull them out straight don't try to pry it or anything like that because you will break the tabs and then you have to buy new ones so let's take a look at the at the c pillar itself okay so here we go here is one two three and now as i look on it i, I might have misspoken earlier and I think right here is number four. This one did not have it. That's why I said three. I hope the other size has three, uh, but we will get to that point here soon. But here are the three metal ones. And what I end up doing with the panel off is I took my pick here and I placed it right here because I removed the light from the actual C pillar itself. And then I was able to do it just like this. And I'll just be able to get it in there and I can see this one very well. Okay. And so when I end up doing that, I just put it in between the metal tab here and the plastic piece. And then by doing so, I, I removed this section of, of the rubber and I was able to get my hands or my fingers really, cause you're not going to get your hands in there. My fingers right where the tab is at. And that's what I was trying to do. Trying to get it right where the whole tab's at. As I poked at it, I was able just to pull on it enough to where this opened up here um, between the headliner and the seat pillar uh, itself. And then I just switched hands. At that point, I removed the pick and all I did was just move, uh, pull straight out and I did it gently and it actually came completely out. The second one here on this corner here, I had to do the same thing um, by just putting my fingers. I could not get my pick in there at all. This. Um, uh, this foam right here was technically covering this plastic, uh, this metal uh, clip here. So by doing so, I just put my fingers right here and I just stuck my fingers in here and I could feel it. So all I had to do is just pry on it and then I got these two loose. This one over here, um, I just able to get my finger in there uh, between the glass and the C pillar itself and then try to get this hand in as far as possible. This one, I'll be honest with you, I did not pull out completely straight. I pulled out at an angle and then it just came completely out um, and that was the end of that like I'm saying I think there might be a clip on there this one's missing but we will jump on the other side and I will show you uh, me taking one off okay here's my pick and I could see it I already got the light removed um, the light honestly all I had to do is just uh, I end up using a little flat head screwdriver and just kind of got it in between here and I was just gently pulling on the top side until she just comes out um, it's just held on by the little plastic pieces here so there's no metal clips or nothing it's very easy to remove unlike the e46 ones um, so 
So here we go. So I am looking for that tab and I see it. I'm trying to stick my head in here. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to put my additional binoculars on because, uh, yeah, darn old age. Yeah, look at that. Now I don't see any blur. All right, there we go. All right, so I got it underneath the metal tab and the plastic piece. And then now I'm going to the top section. As I'm pulling, then back to the bottom one. Because this one's not coming out as easy as the other one. There we go. So there we go. See, I got this one out already. And I went from up to bottom as I was gently pulling on it. Now the next one, you do not need to pick because you can't get nothing to it. But technically, as you can see, my fingers are in there. And I know it's sitting right about right here because my fingers won't go up anymore. And I'm just going to pull. Now, maybe if I could use my pick here to assist me. See, right now I feel that like I'm literally right here, I think is where that clip is at. And I'm just pulling on it. So I shifted a little bit because I think it's here now, not up here. Because I can feel it with my finger now. So now I'm just trying to... This one is not coming out as easy as the other one. I don't know what's going on. Let me see if I can get my... All right, so I'm on it. I can feel the clip. And I'm pulling straight out, wiggling it. Ah, there we go. So there's number two. Oh boy. Number three. So, oh, oh, look at that. And there she is. Voila. Well, as you can see, this one did break a little bit here. So I don't know if it was not installed or, uh, correctly before, previously, or whatever. Um, but it didn't get the whole entire clip. So it made it just a tad bit easier, but look at this one. The actual metal clip stayed stayed in place on the actual trim itself. Um, I do have to say that this one does not have one as well, the one here towards the bottom. Uh, this one right here. So this clip stayed in place. This one came with the panel. That one stayed in place. So there you go, guys. Um, I know this, I was really not looking forward to removing these because 90% of the time these break and you technically have to buy new ones to uh, uh, to get them to stay in place that way they're not flapping around or, or creating big huge gaps between there but uh, uh, but yeah man I hope you uh, hope you like this um, I actually looked um, through the YouTube and see if I could find anything on an E36 coupe I did find a couple write-ups uh, but I did not come across a video I found a lot for the E46 so this is why I decided to go ahead and just take a few minutes and do this video a separate video because i'm currently working on this car doing some other stuff uh for this so um yeah guys uh like i said i hope you like it uh please hit the like subscribe and uh, hope to see you in, the, in another little um uh, little panel trick